The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome into this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table. Joining me from the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach and the campus of Ori Georgetown Tech is Missy Vitez. She is a student here at the Institute. She is a freshman student, and I'll tell you what, and you're from Charleston, okay? And yes, so sir. you made your way up to Myrtle Beach. I did. And you've got a great grouper recipe today. Yes. Tell we me do. how we're going to do this. We are going to pan sear this lovely grouper from Seven Seas in okay. World's Inlet. Awesome. Well, got to keep it local, right? There you go. So we're going to put some flour, shake off the excess just to protect it in the pan. Okay. And I should have seasoned it first. I'm That's sorry. Okay. You can season Put it. Put a little bit of salt, pepper. Yeah. See, that fish Both know, sides. He didn't know he got seasoned second. No planned food, no bland food or out loud, it, right? Man, no kidding. There you go. All right. Make sure all that goodness is off of there so mm -hmm. we don't burn in the pan. Okay. Now we've got butter in the pan. Yep. We put butter down first. Okay. Just Hear that nice, nice little sizzle. Now I got you. Oh, yeah. Mm. Missy, I think our fish may be done, huh? What I you think know? so. How about I get it for you? How Thank you that? so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're a great partner. Oh, uh, listen, I, I'm, I've got, you know, I'm still working on my sous chef <laughs> certificate here, but maybe I'll get it. Maybe you can help me. All right. All right. So that is great. nice and nice and done. Mm -hmm. We are going to have some nice rice peel off, added some herbs to it and oh, wow. some peas for color. Right. We're just going to put this nice on the plate. Okay. Now, what led you to be a chef? I dabbled around in different fields for a while, and yeah. I may have been good at them, but it didn't make me excited. I didn't wake up, you know, passionate about my job, so. No inspiration, huh? I've been watching, you know, the Food Network and everything since yeah. I was a little girl, so. You do something you love and you make money. There you go. It, right? That's it. Okay. Dot the right. fish. There we go. So we are putting that. Oh, that's a nice that, Six o'clock. Mm, look at that. Wow. That's what Chef Tom always says. Yes, sir. And then mm. we are going to finish this off with a lemon caper butter sauce. Oh, wow. Just put this right here. Okay. Mm. And folks, if you want a copy of Missy's recipe, just log on to bobredfern.com and go to the sportsman's table. Oh, yeah. Lemon. Got to have the zest lemon. in there. Mm. Parsley. Oh, wow. Mm. You're good to go. Oh, my goodness. Let me get that out of the way so everybody can see it. Missy, that is a wonderful group of recipe. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank you. you being a guest on the show. Thanks for having me. Well, you bet. And the best of luck to you as you go on to get to well, graduate, okay? Maybe I'll get my certificate before you do. What do you, do? you know what? You want to race? Yeah, you you want let me okay. know. There we go. <laughs> And folks, listen, from the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach, down at Ori Georgetown campus, I tell you what, you never know. It's always a matter of taste here. Log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste.